Hey, it's Trey, and welcome to my desk, and it's time for day two. I have been so busy today, it's just been crazy. But I tell you, I made a big mistake yesterday. <laughs> a big, big mistake. That's 18. Let's see what 18 is. That's pretty good. I really need to find my pencil sharpener. Ah, here's one. It'll work. Um, I made a big mistake yesterday after I, well, actually, while my video was uploading, I decided that I was going to go and watch other people's advent coloring. And I think that I ended up at oh, what's the name of her channel is it julie's passion for pencils i believe is the name of the channel and she's doing it too and she did her little candles and she did a little background and then she i think she's turning all of them into cards at least the one that she did that i saw her do she turned into a card and let me tell you Hers turned out so beautiful, so beautiful. And I started, I was like, why, why did I even upload my video? <laughs> you know, I even thought I'm just going to go and I'm just going to delete it and I'm just going to color them on my own. I'm not even going to share them on my channel. I'm a terrible colorist. Yeah, you know, I got nothing to offer. And I, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I felt pretty darn crappy. And I was pouting around. You know, just feeling sorry for myself. And then I realized that I needed to take my own advice. That I am constantly telling people, oh, don't compare yourself to other people. Everybody's on their own journey. You, you know, as long as it makes you happy, that's all that matters. And then here I am comparing myself to somebody else who is an amazing artist. And I'm sitting here going, oh, I don't have anything. I'm terrible. I don't have anything. No, I do. If nothing else, you can look at my stuff and laugh. <laughs> and decide to be a better colorist. You know, I mean, I don't know. I just, I had to stop and just check myself because I was like, look, I had to go back to the reasons that I started my channel. I cannot draw. I am, you know, I'm, I'm not an artist. I never took art class. In school, I was in all the college prep classes and all the advanced smarty pants classes. Yes, I am a smarty pants. I am a nerd. So, in taking all the advanced classes, we didn't get to take anything fun. So, I didn't get to get to do that. I didn't, didn't get to learn anything about art outside of, like, elementary school. I think I had a half a semester. No, I didn't even get to finish half a semester of art in middle school before I got moved out of the class and into um, algebra, I think it was. Introduction. Maybe it was introduction. No, I had an introduction to algebra in fifth grade. Maybe it was algebra or algebra two. Couldn't have been algebra two in middle school. It had to have been algebra. But anyways, I got moved out, so I didn't get to finish 
the even little bit of art that I had, but I was, I have to admit, I was struggling. <laughs> I was struggling hard. So I'm not really even thinking about colors right now. I'm just going in, just looking for some fun colors. Because I had to stop and tell myself yesterday. I was like, did you have fun? And I was like, yeah, I had a lot of fun. We laughed. I was able to connect with you guys. We were able to talk about, you know, some stuff. And I was able to catch you up on some things. And then I gave you all the link and hopefully you all went and downloaded it. If anything else, if you, if nothing else, I hope you can look at what I've colored. These colors are too similar. I'm not even making any kind of contrast. <laughs> that even if mine are horrible, that hopefully it will inspire you to go out and color better than me. You know, if nothing else, I wanted people to look at my stuff and go, oh my gosh, if she can do that and she had fun making that, then I can do it. Because I know, look, <laughs> my Christmas clock is going off. I mean, I don't know if you guys, who you guys watch and where you started your coloring journey or Hey, for all I know, you guys may be great artists. But I know that I, I spent many a day in Dee Dee Willingham's live chat. And people just constantly saying, Oh, how I wish that I could be like you. How I could do this like you. And how intimidating her art is. And, and I just wanted to be a regular Joe. I wanted to say, look, you don't have to be this great artist. And it's not about being this great artist. You know, it's about having fun. It's about how it makes you feel. And 0% about the the end result, honestly. Because if you had fun doing it, even if it looks like crap at the end, that's all that matters. So yeah, I had to have a come to Jesus talk with myself yesterday. Because see, even, even I get, get caught up in it. Because you know, I look at Dee Dee's stuff and I just think it's amazing and like Julie's in a Oh, Peta Hewitt. Oh, my gosh. The first time I ever saw her stuff, I just thought, I will never, ever be any good. And I might as well just give it up now. But listening to Dee Dee and listening to Dee Dee's message about how anybody can do it. And that's what I really want to get out there. The art is important. And it doesn't matter how good you are at it. And it doesn't matter how good anybody else is at it. Because I can tell you, like with my clogging, a lot of people, you know, they wouldn't want to clog with me. They're like, oh no, I can't, I can't clog as good as you. You know, I don't want to clog with you. And it's like, why? I want to dance with you. I want to dance with you. It's not about how good you dance. I want to share this joy of dance with you. So like this one girl, she was my dance partner. And she's like a total beginner. Every single time she danced with me, she would just apologize. And I was like, please, please don't apologize. We all start somewhere and you'll get it. And that's just the same way with the art, you know. If you sat down and drew a stick man and showed it to Dee Dee, Dee Dee's going to just be thrilled because you got out there and tried. And I'm going to be the same way. You got out there, you tried, you had fun. And that is all that ultimately matters in this world. Well, actually, no, there's more that matters, but still. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I decided, no, I want to do this. I want I want to share this with you guys. I want this to be a part of my Christmas. 
So here we are. It's kind of like a vlog mess for me. So I'm going to do it. Today has been very stressful. Uh, work is just, okay, every month I have to do this one thing where I have to take all the transactions from our client and the transactions that we posted in our system. And then I have to make sure that they match. And it's thousands and thousands of transactions. And let me t and then I have to like put exceptions for the ones that we didn't post. And then I have to say why we didn't post them or whatever. So if you're wondering what I'm doing with a white pencil, is basically what I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm just smoothing out because I don't I didn't want to make this like dark dark. I want kind of want to keep it on the light pastel kind of side. You know, I don't want like uh, I don't even know what to say. I don't want to like press down really hard with my, my pencil and make it real because I want to see the details that are because I don't know if you can see it, but on this cake, there's like little lines. Oh, I hate this camera. One day I'll be a real YouTuber and I'll have a good camera. So I'm kind of using the white to kind of blend it in. I'm not really, I'm not burnishing it. I'm just, I'm still blending. Although I do tend to be heavy handed with my, um, when I'm coloring. I'm just not a lot of lot layers kind of gal. <laughs> I just really am not. I just, mm, I don't enjoy it. I want it colored. So I think that's the reason why I like, like, um, um, do 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 markers. <laughs> oh, I couldn't think of it. I lost it. So I don't know what I want to do with this icing. I kind of want to make it a pink icing. But I don't know. I had gotten some brown down on the icing down here. So I decided to kind of make it a little brown. Like it's a, maybe has like sprinkles on the top. Um... I don't have anything really good. We did the sparkles with this yesterday. It did sparkle pretty good. I guess we could do that again. I think I still have the paintbrush right here. I do. Now I'm just got to remember what I did with it. I also have this glitter glue I could use. This is what I used yesterday. Iridescent. Should I keep just keep going with the iridescent? That just doesn't shine as good. Let's do the iridescent. And we'll just make this a thing. Anytime there's white, we'll use the... Oh, my southern really came out big time there. Did y'all hear that? Anything that's white. <laughs> I'm so southern, it hurts. We got any more southerners in the bunch? Give me a big thumbs up if you're from the south. You guys also, I try to be really careful about like the expressions that I use. Because <laughs> in case you don't know, the dialect of the southern, of southern United States is really, is very colorful. And I'm not saying that it's like, you know, colorful as in it's naughty or <laughs> Well, what I'm saying is we, we have a lot of expressions and sometimes I forget that not everybody knows those expressions. So sometimes I'm really bad to 
to say stuff. Like, I remember one time I went to Muncie, Indiana. I was doing some training. And I was talking to this guy. And uh, I was asking him if he was related to this other guy. But what I said was, are you guys any kin? And he was like, what? And I said, are you guys any kin? <laughs> and he just looked at me and I just looked at him and, you know, and I just, I was probably, I was probably 30. So I was still kind of young. And the guy, the guy just kind of looked at me and I just kind of looked at him waiting for him to answer. And then this other guy who uh, is, was from Kentucky <laughs> jumped in and he said, what she's trying to ask you is, are you two related to each other? <laughs> And that guy said, oh. <laughs> and that's when I realized that that was a Southern expression. I had no idea. I had no idea. So, with that in mind, if I ever say anything that you guys don't understand, let me know. Because I will be happy to explain any expression that I use because some of them can be pretty crazy. Most of them are self-explanatory, such as me telling my son I'm going to yank a knot in his tail. <laughs> that means you better, you better straighten up and fly right. <laughs> I just use an expression to, exp to explain an expression. Uh, probably one of the older ones that I use every once in a while, although I really try not to use it anymore is to say, I swanee. I swanee, I'm tired. I swanee, that happened. I swanee means I swear. So, I swanee, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> How'd it look? I think it turned out good. I like the way they're turning out. I like that it only takes about 10 minutes to do these. It's just a really nice uh, break from my day. Because let me tell you, like I said, I oh, let me tell you, I balanced that thing three times so far today. Three times. You're talking 18, about, I think there's about 1,800 transactions. And I have to go line by line by line by line to make sure that they all matched. Um, I've checked this thing three times. Something's off. Because what we say, what they say doesn't match. I have to put it on this other sheet and it's not working. Ugh. It's awful. But I'm happy with this. Have you guys, oh look, this is what we get to do tomorrow. You guys have an advent calendar that you guys are doing? We got one from, As I, I'll put my stuff up and talk to you for a little bit. Um, we got one from Trader Joe's. We got... Well, one for the cat, one for two for we got each cat one, and then we got one. Um, let me go get them, I'll show them to you. <laughs> let me pause this real quick. <gasps> Advent calendar suddenly appeared. <laughs> okay, so this one's mine, and I opened up yesterday's, we did them last night for the first time. And mine was a little stocking. And I have to say, the, the, I got these at Trader Joe's. And I have to say, the chocolate was not very good. <laughs> and then this is Jeremy's. And the funniest thing about Jeremy's is that he went to go open like this one up here. And I was like, no, no, you got to find the number. And he was like, what number? And I was like, they have numbers on. He's like, the only number I see is 24 chocolate days. <laughs> so I was like, no, look. I was like, there's a four... And there's a 13. He's like, you're tripping. <laughs> so I finally had to find the one for him. And he opened it up. And his was a bell. He had a little bell. 
so cute. And then this was funny because we went to Aldi's or Audi's, whatever you want to say, and they had dog and cat calendars. And we were in a hurry, and I was like, oh, yay, they've got them. And I grabbed it real quick because I saw salmon. And when I got it home, I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. And Jeremy's like, what? And I said, I accidentally bought the dog one. But I went ahead and gave it to uh, Willow yesterday anyways. And she liked it. She ate them. So. And then this is the one we got from Trader Joe's. And it comes with like. It says individually wrapped. This had four. The one we got last night had three. There were three fish shaped. Um, and they, eh, they didn't like it as much as they like the sweet potato one. <laughs> so there are my advent calendars for you. And I want to show you another one that I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I got a trash bag behind me. And I don't know when I'm going to start it. <laughs> the 12 Days of Crafts. I'm so excited for this. So there's 12 crafts. Oh, I'm not even going to show you the back. Let's be surprised. <laughs> but they're just kid stuff. And it's just little things. And I thought it would be fun for 12 days. I just don't know when to start it. I don't know if I should start it. Um, like to where it, the 12th day would end on like Christmas. Or should I just start it just 12 days of crafts? I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I just really, I just don't know. I can't, I can't make up my mind. Okay, guys, you let me know. When, when would you like to see them? You want me to just go ahead and start doing them now as I have time? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Go out, download your advent calendar. I want to see, I want to see your guys' advent calendar. All right, bye, guys.